Hi everyone, welcome to the APM Digital Session 4. In this tutorial, we will be looking into the APM Inspector and the UI and Automated Viewer. Okay, to find the digital elements of a particular application or the application we will test. Okay, so the agenda for today APM Inspector and the UI Automated Viewer. So let's see how we can find that. Okay, okay. so first of all, we will see the UI Automated Viewer for that. I need to open my command prompt and my device has been connected successfully and support I want to find the calculator device okay with calculator but let me open my calculator device okay now in the command prompt you have to put a command like UI Android Automator sorry UI Automator Wait for a few seconds, so it will open the UI Automated Viewer. Okay, so the UI Automated Viewer has been opened, and this is my device. Okay, now if you click on that uh, uh, capture button, here is a capture button. You click on that, so it will capture the related uh, relevant images, the screenshot of your devices along with all the elements details package details class everything you get uh, it will fetch okay so let's see okay so this is the uh, details that uh, frame layout everything frame layout uh, then inside layout linear layout everything has been fetched so we can see the details of my calculator application in the UI automotive viewer now if i want to click on the particular button like for one button we can see the text is one the resource id has been given com.miui.calculator.id discuss button is for one class name has been given package name has been given along with the content descriptions index all the related fields of this particular node has been given that uh, equal button equal button for that is a image view plus button is button underscore plus is the id Along with the class name, text index, everything has been given. Uh, this button underscore divisions, uh, button underscore multiplication. Along with all the, you can also generate the same thing from the linear layout, image view, from the uh, uh, frame layout. You can generate to export from this frame layout itself. Okay. So this is very helpful if you are going to automate any particular application. Suppose you are going to pass uh, phase two plus three. Uh, and then pressing the equal to and you are fetching the result if it is uh, giving the correct result or not then you have to all the elements you can find this okay it's uh, it's uh, you can you can say it like it's kind of uh, like fire bar the fire bar that we have used for selenium uh, web automations uh, for desktop applications okay desktop web applications this is kind of same for fire bar or fire, fire bar but uh, this is only for Android mobile application. Okay, uh, so in my clips, if we navigate and check uh, in my test classes, we can see that all the mobile elements by XPath, Free Society, and the uh, button plus button by ID that all all that element has been fetched from this way. Okay, so regarding the fetching the elements of a different different ID class package, I will come to the next. Okay. So I mean this way you can launch the UI Automotive Viewer and you can get the same layout okay. Now next I will, uh, next I will show you, uh, now using the APM Inspector. So APM Inspector, uh, the same thing we can utilize to find the detail element, uh, details of a particular element okay. For that we have to launch our uh, APM server first. So for host I have given 127.0.0.1 for advanced I have given the log file path and preset this is my preset with the all con with the all the server argument and value I have given it will start the server at the designated address and the port is in there. So let's start the server. So if you server is started successfully now start a new session. This will for a while. Okay, inside the APM new sessions, into the safe capability set, I have already uh, saved 
full capability for my devices. Uh, first, let me navigate to that. Okay. So you can see that for the MI calculator, there's a device capability of state as a app package name, app activity name given, common time on browser name, platform name, version along with the device name, and platform name given. So all these things are given as a JSON format. Okay, so clicking on that MI calculator, if I start the session, you can see in the APM browser, it will come this way and the session will start. It will you know, take some time to load and it will uh, load the entire uh, calculator page here. You can see that uh, uh, the APM inspector, uh, it, uh, all the calculator, MI by calculator package and is getting loaded. Okay, So if I go to my device itself, uh, you can see that the same, same thing has been loaded. Uh, whatever we have done in case of UI inspector, same thing we can do utilizing the APM inspector itself. Okay, we, so we have make we make we have to make sure we have to pass the desired capability at the APM start session. Okay, so it's, there is another thing we can do. We can uh, record our step itself. So it not only captured the relevant pages, we can also doing our operation work. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's scroll. Let's first. Um, so this is our Android uh, mobile, and this is our APM uh, sessions. Okay. Now I'm clicking on going to the one, the one button. So we can see that it will give you the app source details along with the ID, index, text, class, package, content. It's all the things that we have uh, already. Is already have seen in case of the EA automated we have will be able to see the same thing here but the difference is that we have going to the uh, we have uh, we are now in the button one and we are having options tab send keys and clear so we can also do this kind of operation also but if i click on the tab let's see what will happen okay so in my real devices it's also getting uh, showing as a one and in the apm inspector it it will take some time it's basically a recording process, so it's uh, typed already one. And I'm going to navigate in the plus button. Now I'm clicking on the tab here. So it's already typed plus in my real devices that you can see. Okay, now I want to this is the nine button tab. Click on the equal, equal button and click on the tab. So my real device, we can see we were not operating anything in the real device currently. What you are operating through the APM session itself. Okay. So the session we can see the result ten is for successful. We are getting the result successful display. Okay. So and for this, for each and everything like the UI and the automator, we can get the details from this page itself. Let me full screen it. So we can see whatever details, uh, class name, package name, everything will be listed here. Okay. One notification I'm getting uh, using XPath located is not recommended and can lead to fragile test. Ask for development to provide unique exploited located instead. Uh, okay, the UD and the unique ID and the particular ID or class name is always preferred. Okay, but uh, you can also generate your own expert to while you are uh, writing your test script and the application automation. Okay, uh, moreover, you will be doing um, mobile web automation, yeah, hybrid app automation, and the web version. Make sure of it. It will be better if you get the ID, and else you can always there an option to generate your own expert to work on it. Okay. Uh, and the other option you can have, you can a back button. So refresh shows us click okay, take the screenshot and start recording. If you click on a start recording, it will uh, record the entire operations. But one thing it lack that we don't have any playback. Okay. Post recording. So the drawback is that 
there is no option as of now for the playback features only the recording feature were there okay and if you click on the uh, this quit session it will quit the session and close the inspector click on the back button you can see it will be back to the home page not the home page the app page itself let's see my Okay, so let's see the, which page it's coming from the source page. It's uh, getting back. I click on the back page, so it should be back to the home page. Okay, so this way you can also utilize the APM uh, inspector to find that little element. But make sure you have to start your own sessions and you have to start your APM server. But if you don't want to start your APM server, there is another like without utilizing the server you can use the ui automator way ui that ui automator here to find that details of everything okay let me close my system as of now okay system can close uh, closing my system and i'm stopping my server So that's all for today guys we can we have seen that how we can utilize the APM inspector and the UI automated viewer to find the details of element of our mobile uh, mobile devices it can be real devices or for the emulator the same we can find we have to pass the same uh, emulator device ID uh, or EV ID you have to provide in form of JSON uh, to find the details through the APM inspector or if you want to find the UI automated viewer it will directly paste the uh, page details of the device that it is connected right now only one device is connected that you can see uh, device with id uh, if we command uh, command prompt ADB devices so only one device is getting listed that is my own devices okay so guys that's all for today